गाइज थैंक यू सो मच फॉर योर विजिट टू आवर फैमिली वी नीड योर सपोर्ट इन लव प्लीज प्रेस सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड बेल आइकन इट्स टोटली फ्री गुड लक फॉर एक्सचेंज नाउ इन जॉय Hey people today we are going to talk about this second coming by William Yeats and uh, I used to pronounce it like Yeats but it's Yeats like Gates okay isse pehle jab main ise pronounce karta tha uh, up to this date aaj mujhe pata chala hai ki is Yeats iska pronunciation tha uh baja Yeats ka I used to pronounce it like William Yeats W Yeats okay to <coughs> If you pronounce it like years, make it like gates, years. Let's go ahead. So koji study dot blogspot dot com. ये मेरा blog है. You can visit that blog. About the poem. First of all, the second coming was written in nineteen. So take out your uh, notebook and pen. Okay, take out your notebook and your pen, and start writing the notes for second second coming. So it was uh, 1919. In the aftermath of the First World War, as you can see, first after First World War, this version, the poem is as it was published in the edition of Michael Robert Roberts and the Dancer, dated 1920. There are numerous other version of the poems. The preface and notes in the book contain some philosophy attributes to Roberts. Okay, so these are two things you can write down: 1919 and Roberts. Two things. For you to note down. Next is the second coming refers to Christian prophecy in Bible book of Revelation that Jesus Christ will return to defeat the Antichrist, overthrow evil, and then establish his thousands year reign. This is uh, you can say basic theme, basic idea about this poem. कि uh, Christian जो prophecy है उसके according जो जीसस क्राइस्ट है ही विल कम बैक वापस आएंगे एंड डिफीट द एंटी क्राइस्ट यीट्स इन कॉपोरेट्स हिज ओन व्यू ऑफ हिस्ट्री एंड फ्यूचर थ्रू द इमेज ऑफ गायर्स और जायर्स कोन शेव्ड स्पायरल्स दैट इंटरसेक्ट सो दैट ईच जायर्स नेरोस्ट पॉइंट इज कंटेंट इन साइड द वाइडेस्ट पार्ट ऑफ द अदर The gyres represent different elemental forces in the historical cycles, or different stages in the development of human psyche. एक चीज gyres के बारे में उन्होंने बोला है कि ये चीज घूमती जा रही है. All right. Each gyre beginning in the purity of concentrated point and generating into chaos. In his book A Vision, he describes the gyres as intersecting cones. I will show you a picture. in this video and uh, then you can remember that one okay one widening out while other focuses into a single point the passage between the gyres is a transition to a new world and not the end of the world so as you can see here he is saying that this is a circle it will keep coming keep going The poem describes an uh, eclipse, very different from the Christian vision of the end of the world. So you can see here, okay, twenty centuries. After every twenty century, there will be a starting, and there will be. So you can see here, uh, at this point, it is starting, okay, birth of Christ. Then it goes here, and uh, maximum after twenty years. After twenty years, Jesus Christ will come again. Are you getting? So it will uh, just go round and round and round and round. So after each twenty years, twentieth century. Sorry, extremely sorry. Twentieth century, he will come back after twentieth century. So he says that now it's uh, the time is of second coming. The poem starts with the image of Falcon. wheeling about in the sky there is a fal falcon falcon is a uh, you know a big bird sea bird wheeling about in the sky far away from the falconer who released it the metaphor stands for now you can see here the metaphor you can write down the falcon is a metaphor it stands for the poet's belief that the world he knew was coming to an end 
Now it's stranger one. Turning and tending in the widening gyre, the falcon cannot hear the falconer. Things fall apart. Things fall apart. You can see. Chinwa Chibit. Do you remember that guy? From 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 Africa. The center cannot hold. Mere anarchy is loosened upon the world. The image of falcon moving away and away from the falconer, representing control and turning the world upside down like the picture do you remember i just show you that image of uh, apocalypse disaster the falcon cannot hear the call of safety and circles spirals wider and wider the blood dimmed tide is loosed and everywhere the ceremony of innocence is drawn the best lack of conviction while the worst are full of passionate intensity more chaos Images of sea full of blood, drowning, doubts and misguided principles are now guiding the world. He depicts this society moving towards its self-destruction and chaos. Now he is saying that the society is going. Here you can see the feel of World War First. It is uh, just ended and now W.B. Yeats is thinking about. He just, you know, he has become so much negative, you can say, or uh, pessimist. like other people of that point now you can think of yourself like if you are sitting somewhere and something bad happens to us we start thinking bad also our mood become uh, you know uh, we become pessimist about everything purity and innocence giving way to wickedness stranger too surely some revolution is at hand now he's becoming now a little bit positive i think Surely the second coming is at hand. Now you can see uh, 20 centuries uh, has passed just according to W.B. Yeats. The second coming hardly are those worlds out when a vast team is out of the spritus, spritus mundi. Troubles my sight of waste of desert sand. So you can see here. Here is a spritus spritus mundi latin word for wild spirit or wild of the world yates believe that each human mind is linked to a single vast intelligence a shape with lion bodies here you can uh, take out the themes they and uh, then you can uh, take out the imagery and analyze them keep them these things in mind and you will enjoy the poetry a shape with loin body and head of man a gaze blank and pitiless as the sun is moving its slow thighs while all about it wind shadows of the indignant desert birds the image of beast with the head intellect of a man and fierce body motions of a beast images from book of revelation in the in the bible so it could be a question in your exam in our exam that uh, the images are taken from and big question mark so it was book of revelation in the bible the loin has the predatory power and the royal strength and authority but is pitiless and devoid of love you can see so he's uh, saying that people are like this they are devoid of love but uh, they are fierce now world war first again you can keep in mind the darkness drops again but now i know that 20 centuries so you can you can be asked how many centuries 20th century that 20 centuries of stony slave were vexed to nightmare by a rocking cradle and what rough beast its are come round at last slouches towards bethlehem to be born okay bethlehem you know the place bethlehem rocking cradle image of man, uh, manga of christ slow moving image of the antichrist moving closer and closer to christ birthplace place basilum and 20 centuries 2000 years of cycle starting at the christian birth do you remember that picture again go just press your rewind button and uh, of your brain's rewind button and go to that picture upside down triangle i just saw uh, show you analysis of this poem its mythology is not easy to understand 
Yeats himself did not intend its full meaning in the immediately apparent to those unfamiliar with his thoughts. He believed in cycle view, cyclic view of history, which is reflected in uh, recurrence and co convergence of images as they become multiplied and interest. This cyc uh, cyclical nature of Yeats conception means that there will be another antithetical annunciation in the future, the second coming not of Christ but of his antithetical opposite. The poem has historical biblical resonance. As you can see, he has given lots of uh, biblical examples, connotations, conveys a dismayed view of the world and talks about the future. Puzzling images are present in this. Sphinx is juxtaposed with two images of birds. First is danger, broken image, of, image of falcon dissociating from its trainer of falconer. Second stanza, broken image of many birds flying around the sphinx, the cat, which is single whole, whole image, the image of half loin and half man. So you can see these are images he used there to show the things. In late 1800s, Yeats joined the order of a golden dawn, an occult sect, where he began to experiment with magic, the golden dawn. But so you can see the effect of what he was studying there, what he was, uh, you know, experiencing the things there. He is using these, these all stuff here. Emphasis not on obscure and untraceable Indian and Buddhist masters, but on the European mystical tradition, mainly in Kabbalah. Kabbalah. The Golden Dawn encouraged its members to undertake occult experiments to demonstrate their power over the material universe. Yeats spoke of it later as a chief influence upon his thought. Yeats saw a close relationship between enchantment in magic and literature. Again, he experimented and met with immediate success. Early in the... So you can uh, come to the conclusion that he is using supernatural things. He is using uh, occult things and, um, you know, enchantment, magic. So why he is using these things? Just to show people that uh, second coming is near end. And this is just for, uh, you know, poetry. If we take, why we write poetry? As I also write poetry. I don't write in English. But I like writing poetry to satisfy myself. Okay. So the people, whatever ideas we have in our mind, we want to pour them out. So he has these ideas. But for uh, your exam purpose, you need to remember. The best thing is uh, take out Im images from the poetry. The special word they have used and the themes and the terms. I hope you liked this poem. You have got some idea about the second coming by W. Beats. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Take care. Good luck for exams. Don't forget to like.